Welcome to our Kate TV webcast. I'm Kate, and this is my guest Maggie. Hi. Maggie's a dog listener. Don't you mean a dog whisperer? Nope, that's different. I'm a dog listener. I can hear what they're saying. No way! She can. Sometimes, I can even hear what they're thinking. No, <laughs> you can't. Uh-huh. I'll show you. Come over to my house. What for? I'll show you how it works with my dog. Do you hear that? Uh-huh. What's he saying? I'm mad and I'm gonna bite you? No, I don't think so. Listen. Now do you hear it? Maybe. He's saying, my yard, my yard, my yard. He doesn't want us in his yard? Right. Dogs are very territorial. That means they know exactly what belongs to them, like their house and their yard, and they look out for it. So he wants everyone to know that this is his yard, and we can only come in if we're invited. Hey, puppy, can I come in your yard? Huh? 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 Quit it, Travis. What's wrong? I was just playing with him. You may think so, but the dog thinks you're teasing him. You are teasing him. Didn't you hear that? His bark was different from before. He's angry now. He thinks you might be threatening him. Well, then he's just dumb. I was just trying to pet him. But he doesn't know that, and he's telling you he doesn't know it. He's telling you to back off till he's sure you're okay. So back off. <sighs> Remember that dogs are territorial. Inside the fence is his territory. If a dog's in a car and the window's down, then the car is his territory. So don't stick your hand in and try to pet him. If he's tied up outside a yard, then the yard's his territory, so don't stand just outside his reach and tease him. Okay, I might have done that before. <laughs> well, don't, okay? Okay. Oh, look, I want to pet him. Okay, but let's ask first. Give some shot to this. Hi. Hi. Boy or girl? Boy. His name is Remy. Hi, Remy. May we pet him? Sure, he's friendly. See how I did that? Now you do it. Just curl your hand up like this and let him sniff the back of it. Will anything I'm about to hit him? Not if you're slow and gentle. Now make sure to pet him under the chin or on the chest, but don't grab the top of his head. I thought dogs like to be pet on their head. They do, when they know you. But when you're new to them, it's better to do it this way. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> That's just too slow and boring. I like to just run up and pet them. Yeah, but the dog may not like that too much. Why not? Well, think about how it looks to the dog. Let me see your camera. OK. Um, no, actually, you keep it. Now, hold it down here where a dog's head is. OK, now look for your screen there. All right, now I'll be you. Watch. <gasps> Hi there, little puppy puppy. Want some pets? Huh? 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 <laughs> I don't sound like that. Maybe not, but how do you look to the dog? Like a friendly boy or like a big scary giant attacking it? Big scary giant, definitely. There you go. You have to think how something looks and feels to the dog, not to you. So it makes you a dog listener. You pay attention to them. Watch their body language, listen to the sounds they make. They're always telling you things. But you can't really hear them talk, right? <laughs> No, I can't really hear them talk. Ha! Told ya! But it's like I do, because I pay attention. How far is your house? We almost there? Almost. We're getting close. Hey, you guys, look over there. Is that dog lost? I don't see anybody with it. I don't know, maybe. Looks like he's dragging a leash. Let's go find out! Oh, wait a minute! Don't run, remember? Oh, yeah. When you see a lost dog, don't run towards it and don't run away from it. What do we do? Keep still, then back away slowly, even if he looks friendly like this one. So you just leave it alone? No, you tell an adult you know about him. Today, that would be me. You're not an adult. Actually, I am. I'm 19. Oh, so what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to go look and see if he has ID.
Who's she calling? Probably the dog's family. There should be a phone number on the collar. Oh, yeah. That must be the owner. It must be. Oh, thank you so much. She got away from me, and I've been looking all over for her. You're welcome. All right. Come on, Tess. Come on, girl. That's a good girl. Well, that was easy. It was a friendly dog, and the ID tags had a phone number. If you didn't have ID, I would have had to call an animal shelter. Why? Because you might have had a microchip. Sometimes vets can implant them between the top of the shoulder blades, then shelters can scan them and trace it back to its owner. That's pretty cool. What if it wasn't friendly? Well, I guess I would have had to call animal control and let them deal with him. If he wasn't friendly and he came up to us, do you know what to do? No, but I'm pretty sure you do. I do. Make like a tree. Do what? Make like a tree. That's what it's called. So like this? I'm a tree. And now I'm a tree in the wind. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. No, that's the opposite of what you should do. Make like a tree means make like a tree trunk. Stand like this, real still, don't make eye contact. Why not? Because dogs think eye contact is a challenge for power. You don't want to challenge him, you just want him to go away. And that works? Just stand there and don't look at him? Not every single time. Because you know why? All dogs are different, just like all people are different. But it works most of the time, so it's the best thing to do. Make like a tree. Trunk. Right. Um, you guys, look over there. So what? There's three of us. She's tall, we can scare them off. Travis! Don't do that. Why not? What am I supposed to do, run? No, definitely don't run. The movement could make them more interested in you. But you shouldn't throw rocks at them either. For one thing, it's cruel, and for another, it could provoke them. Okay. Well, you want them to go away, right? Yes, we do. Okay, I'll show you what to do. Give me your hat. What for? I'll show you, just give it to me. Okay, we can distract them with this. Hey! Shh, shh. You can get it back later. Now let's just slowly walk away. See? No big deal. Now they're going off that way and they're leaving us alone. Good. What's the matter? I was scared. One of them was a Rottweiler. That's a mean breed. Why do you say that? Because they are. They bite kids. No, I wouldn't call them a mean breed. Why not? Well, for one thing, dogs don't understand mean. If Travis threw that rock at those dogs, they'd be mean, right? Yes. That's because he can think it through and decide what's right and wrong. But dogs don't work that way. They have instincts, and those instincts tell them what to do. Like to bite people? Sometimes, if they think they're in danger, maybe. But just because one dog bites someone doesn't mean that all dogs of that breed will bite people. See what I mean? I guess so. Let's say that Travis did throw that rock at those dogs. I didn't. But let's say that you did. Would that mean that all boys throw rocks at dogs? No. No. Some Rottweilers can be aggressive, but that doesn't mean the whole breed is like that. This is an idea that dog people like to call the deed, not the breed. What's that mean? It means that what the dog does is more important than what breed he is. So if you see a Rottweiler and he acts aggressive, stay away from him. But if you see one with his owner and he's nice and friendly, treat him like any other friendly dog, okay? Okay, the deed, not the breed. Right. Can I go get my hat now? Sure, they're gone. My house is right over there. So let's go get your hat and let's go see my dog. Angus, come here. Yes, that is a good boy. This is Angus, you guys. He's a happy boy. What's he saying? No, you guys tell me. Can't you hear him? Listen. He wants to play. He's got a ball and he wants to play. That's exactly right. Can I play with him? Sure. Throw him the ball. He'll catch it. OK. What else do we need to put in the show? I think we got most of it. We can put in the part about how dogs are territorial and they like to have their own space. 
So don't stick your hand in the fence if they're barking at you. Right. And we can also put in how to greet a dog. I shot all of that. Ask the owner first, let them sift the back of your hand, and then pet them under the chin. Uh-huh. And you have to put in me petting the doggy cam. Hi there, little puppy puppy. Want some pets? Huh? 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 Oh, definitely. Make like a tree. That has to go in. Not your version, though. I know. Make like a tree, trunk. Right. And don't make eye contact. Just stand still until the dog walks away. And what about what to do when you see a lost dog? Leave it alone and tell an adult. Thank you. And we can also put in the part about throwing your hat and having to go pick it up. You're so whiny about that. And it doesn't have to be a hat, you know. It could be anything small you have on you, like a book from your backpack or something like that. The idea is to throw it away from you, but not at the dogs. You want to distract the dogs while you slowly move away. Right. OK, what else? The D, not the breed. That's great. I really think that should be in there. Dogs are like people. There's nice ones, like Angus here. Oh, you're my good boy, aren't you? And there's some that aren't as nice. And just like people, we should judge them based on how they act, not what breed they are. That's a lot. I think it's enough for one show. One more thing, OK? OK. Go. We just talked about how to deal with dogs you meet for the first time. But remember that you should act the same around dogs that you know, like your friend's dog or your neighbor's dog. Treat them like you treat a dog you just met, OK? OK. Thanks, Maggie. I'm Kate, and this is my guest Maggie, the dog listener. And we've been listening to dogs today. Now you know how to do it, too. So have fun, and join us next time for another episode of Kate TV. Bye. Bye.